This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Mixing the Durham's water putty for some fascia repair and trying to get it nice consistency. Uh, you probably only get about 10 minutes before this stuff will really set up. So once you mix it, you want to work pretty fast. I've already done repair on this one with just a lot of a lot of rot, and I'm just going to put a little more of a coat on here to, to even it out, and then. <clears throat> I'm going to go up and do some more uh, repair up higher on the fascia. So I was able to um, go up there today and remove all the rotten wood and uh, put in a few screws to act as like a matrix to kind of hold the Durham's in position. And basically you want to just remove all the wood that is soft. You can use, just use a screwdriver or um, <clears throat> even paint scraper. You can see it up there. So a lot of this wood's intact. It's pretty good. I've already repaired this section. I'm going to go up there and go ahead and put the derms on. I'm going to use a, a little bit of wood to act as a uh, kind of like a mold to keep everything in position. And we're going to go ahead and apply this stuff. We can see that this got pretty chewed up. I'm just going to put this stuff on and just fill all the weak wood. And it uh, dries really hard, almost like concrete, but it is sandable. You want to get this kind of creamy consistency, so it's going to go on pretty smooth. And then you have less sanding to do later, which is always good. When this stuff gets a little bit more set up, I'm going to use it when it's a little bit thicker. I'll use it to fill some of the really big gaps. But uh, a lot of times, you probably have to put on a few coats when you have a really big chunks missing but you do want to take out any of the uh, parts that are rotted careful when you're up on the ladder so that's getting a lot better a lot smoother and it will uh, work really well for painting, for priming. Get these screws here to act as a framework to hold some of this stuff. When we get, when we get near, uh, when we start doing the bigger patching. So now I'm mixing the derms to be <clears throat> much more of a thicker mix. So a lot more derms, less water. And this is so it can fill some of the really big voids. So I'm just going to put that in by hand, almost like clay. 
And remember, you only got about 10 minutes once you mix this stuff. It's going to set up really strong. So, we put in some of this really thick stuff. Fill these bigger gaps. And it goes on pretty good. Pretty thick. Just remember to act quickly and try to get it pretty smooth before you let it dry because you don't want to do a lot of sanding. I work while I can. We're getting closer, but <clears throat> it's going to take about maybe three or four more applications to get this really built up and also smooth. That's probably it. So no matter what consistency you're shooting for, you do want to mix it really well so that it's not going to be um, blotchy or powdery on application. So for this part I'm going to use the derms kind of like clay. I'm just going to use my hands to get it into the areas that are a little bit harder to reach with a putty knife and start filling some of this, these big voids and again the putty knife's not going to be able to get in there I'm trying to get something for it to attach to Going at the apex. I'm just cramming it in there because it'll act like concrete. <clears throat> and using your fingers is good here because your putty knife won't be able to get into these areas but you can smooth it off later do a little bit of smoothing as the step dries So we have less and less of a bridge, we have to gap now as this builds up. Starting to connect some of these coats together. Alright, so we're going to let all this dry, come back and do some more. I'm about to put some more derms in there, but I put a little wood back here to give it a little more stability when I pack that in. Added a couple of screws behind it. Alright, we got a really thick mix here. We're going to shove it on in here. Get some of this all done. Fill these gaps. Let's smooth this out by uh, with our our uh, putty knife here in a sec, but we're just trying to get these gaps filled up. Good.
some on the knife start to fill these bigger gaps part smoothed out and then I'll have a lot less sanding to do before I prime it. I'm just building up that fascia.